So about 30 years ago, I went to the company that manufactured lures like this after taking about 150 different samples from them and trying them out and went out on the beach with these and immediately caught a big cobia and caught a lot of other fish with them and we started selling them about 30 years ago and sold thousands and thousands of them. So yeah. what, So how long ago, how old are these two that you're holding right now? Um, I would guess 20 years. And I noticed you have two different flavors. I was actually fishing with him yesterday. Tell me about the broke back versus the regular. Well, the broke back just gives you a little more action out there. So uh, both of them work really, really well. And I like the red bellies. I like the red bellies and also the red gills. It's, it's kind of a unique look as you see it like looks gold like a, a lot. wounded fish and an easy catch. Is um, I film your, your display box. Is that all that you've got left in the whole world? No, I should have a bunch still. Oh, you should? Okay. Yeah, we put a lot away because they were selling really well. Retro bassin, kicking some ass and wearing rayon jackets. All right, guys, gonna have a mini episode of Retro Bassin for you today, but I just had to turn the old SLR camera on and show you what I found. One of my favorite parts about hitting local family owned tackle shops, as you know, is occasionally can find a piece of old school gold, i.e., a discontinued lure, hanging on the peg just ready to be bought after a couple of decades of just sitting there. Well, every once in a while you find something even more special than a discontinued lure. Today I'm in St. Petersburg, Florida, standing in front of a local tackle shop by the name of Gator Gyms. I was in town for a couple days and I just had to make a stop to check this place out. And of course, you know me, I beeline it to the discontinued discount lure section to see if they've got any uh, new in the package relics for sale. Well, I certainly found a few of those, but today I found something even better. Today I did find a discontinued lure, but even better, it is a custom color that was only made for this specific shop. All right, so here we are inside of Gator Gyms. Here is the discount section, which I always love. You just never know exactly what you're gonna find in these places. Always just some good deals on stuff. Some stuff, maybe colors or some things that have been discontinued. And I'm always kind of going through this to see what I can find. By the way, <laughs> look at that. Uh, a nice pre rapala Storm Thunderstick for $3.99. That's kind of what I'm talking about here. So if you check this out, there is a number of bins and I will go through these real quick to see if there's anything special that we need to buy. So this bin looks like mostly saltwater baits. I'm not sure what that is. Looks like some sort of uh, rebel minnow knockoff. A lot of, oh, what are these? Yuzuris? Yep, nice. It's like a little bomber flat A there for $4.99. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> a nice old clamshell rattle trap for $4.49. That's pretty cool. Saltwater color too. Ooh, look at that. Kind of like that. Uh, the old Yulzuri knuckleball bait. So this looks like a pretty heavy Yulzuri. I wonder if the few freshwater baits that were in here were just kind of put in here by accident. So let's see, I'll dig down real quick and just grab a couple of things. So. so yeah, I'm gonna say for the most part, this is the saltwater Yuzuri box, $4.99 each or five for 20. I think I might grab this thunder stick and keep on moving. So we got some knives here. Got some mustad baits. So here's a big old box of spoons for five dollars. So it looks like these are the Johnson Sprite spoons in a clearly a saltwater size. Maybe that's like the one ounce. Whole bunch of those. A little crocodile spoon. Yeah, I don't see any silver minnows in the bunch. Mo mostly all of these uh, big old saltwater Sprite spoons. 
And we've got some grouper plugs here, some bombers. Probably don't have a need for these right now. <laughs> All right, but here's the box that made me go back and, and grab my camera because I just had to show you what's inside. This is the lures, again, five for 20. Now, there are some interesting baits in here. Uh, an old bomber topwater. There are some more storm thunder sticks, which is nice. I'll probably put some of those aside. I'm definitely going to walk with a few storm, storm thunder sticks. Yeah, there's another nice yellow thunder stick. So it says five for 20. That's a, that's a heck of a deal. So that guy's going to go right there. Ooh, look at that one. <laughs> and let's check out the back. So yeah, I'm pretty sure these are of the pre rapala variety. Had it upside down. Yep. Made of original components by Storm. Does not mention Rapala, so I'm guessing that's a pre rapala But I could be wrong. We've got a Bill Lewis Thunderstick. That's actually a nice Florida color as well. And that kind of leads me to the reason that I really wanted to show you this box. You might have noticed I'm kind of skipping around some of the bombers. There are two different varieties of bomber in here that I have never actually seen before. And on the package it says Jim Bickles Blood Bomber. If you look at the color pattern on this, I'll try to do it without the glare. It's a gold bomber with a black back and a red belly, but it's got this really wild sort of, well, blood color coming through. It comes in two varieties. It's got a jointed bait here, listed at $5.99, but again, five for 20. And then also this one, the classic bomber long A in that blood bomber color. So I didn't know much about this. I was pretty excited to see this and I grabbed a few of these yesterday to buy. As I'm checking out, I met the owner of Gator Jim, who happens to be Mr. Jim Bickle. And of course, I had to ask him about these particular baits. A few years ago, when you could order custom lures from Bomber, he actually tested out a number of different colors of these baits and ultimately settled on this one for the local St. Petersburg waters, the Blood Bomber. I'm pretty sure he sold the fire out of these things back in the day. But I think that all that is left of his current stock is what is in here in this five for 20 discount bin. I know there are some bomber aficionados out there that are gonna wanna get their hands on these. I know that there's gonna be some saltwater anglers and honestly some freshwater anglers too. So I'm gonna grab a few of these for the old retro bass and tackle wall for sure. But there are so many here. I don't know how many in here, maybe 30, maybe 40. I'm not gonna be able to scoop them all up. So I will leave all the contact information for Gator Gyms so you can give those guys a call. I haven't confirmed if they will ship or not, but certainly worth a call to find out. And if you're anywhere in the St. Petersburg area, definitely worth a stop. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bassoon.